and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys to a Barcelona news roundup coming up today and of course we are going to be discussing the entire Messi situation as right now it is reaching breaking point. We're also going to have some news though on Ronald Koeman's plans as pre-season training is about to start and with the season getting ever closer it's coming right up. So let's do it. Because indeed, as we knew on this Sunday, the first team squad were required there to arrive for the COVID-19 testing today, with each player given there a specific time slot to arrive and undergo there that testing ahead of the return to pre-season training. You had to there be tested in order to train. Everybody there will have to be approved and hopefully will come back there with the test being negative. And throughout the day, indeed, each of the first team was pictured upon their arrival. We saw the likes of Ricky Pooch. It was actually quite refreshing there to see him arriving on the scene with a smile on his face. He's somebody right now who does give me at least a bit of positivity. We also saw the likes of Gerard Piquet, Antoine Griezmann, Usman Dembele, even Luis Suarez was there on the scene despite his current situation with the club and even Marc-Andre Ter Stegen who is of course still recovering from that surgery that he's only recently undergone. However, as we discussed over on More Talk FCB late last night, and as we expected, the one man who was not present at today's testing, it was... Sadly, Lionel Messi. Because Messi was given there a time slot of 10.30 a.m. this morning in order to arrive there and be tested. And just as he communicated to the club on Saturday evening, Messi did not show up for the testing. And as a result now, he will not be returning to pre-season training with Ronald Koeman's Barcelona following his wish there to leave the club, which still stands stronger than ever. And he's acting now on the advice there of his lawyers, who still believe they can activate his exit clause in his contract to part the club for nothing this summer, something that Barcelona still deny. And it was interesting late last night indeed there were a few rumours circulating that Messi's 700 million release clause that the club continued to point to, there were some rumours actually that that clause ahead of this summer actually expired. Again the club were very very quick to deny that rumour and indeed today La Liga have also joined in on this situation. They got very much involved here and they've actually been quick to clarify Messi's contract situation issuing a statement earlier on today. And in the statement there from La Liga, it basically states that Messi's release clause still does stand and that there is a release clause in his contract right now and that any club willing to sign him will need to activate the entirety of that release clause in order to officially register Messi as their player with La Liga certainly coming down in favour of Barcelona but to be fair, that's not a big surprise to me at all. We saw something very very similar when Neymar was linked to PSG we saw La Liga try and come out in favour of Barcelona because of course, let's face it, they want Messi to stay just like they wanted Neymar to stay. They want the biggest players in their league and Messi leaving is probably as detrimental to La Liga as it is Barcelona with both outfits right now still very intent on keeping Lionel Messi. Which does mean that as we stand right now, there are two different situations that we could find ourselves in over the coming days, over the coming weeks, however long this is going to drag on for. Number one, we may see this entire situation end in the courtroom, which apparently Messi is very, very keen to avoid. And I think we all realise that it should never, ever end in that way. This should not end in court. It shouldn't come to that at all. And the reliable Alfredo Martinez of Ondafero confirms indeed that Messi has communicated to the club on multiple occasions that he wants to end this in the most amicable way possible. He wants to end this in the friendliest way. He wants to avoid a court case. He doesn't want to go through all of that situation against the club that he loves. And he has the ambition there of somehow finding an agreement between all parties to facilitate that move to Man City. And as I have said all along in this saga, I think the best outcome now with Messi so intent on leaving, and you can see that by his actions today, not turning up for testing, he's not going to be in training, and all of this situation right now unfolding in the way that it is. The best resolution at this point will be to actually just negotiate with Man City. We know they're not short on money, we know they have the funds to pay significant money there for Lionel Messi, and for that reason it's just come to the point now, we got to accept that reality. We have to face up to what's going on, the wish of the player, Messi deserves to be granted his wish there to move on. And Barcelona, in turn, do also deserve to be paid very, very handsomely for that transfer. And Man City are in the position to do that. And otherwise, we just risk him leaving for free in the courtroom. If it goes beyond that, even if Barca were to win, Messi can still leave for free in 2021. And all of this... Like I've said so many times, it just needs to be resolved. We, as a club, together with Messi, a legend, an icon, please find that agreement.
And like I say, because Messi has now missed that testing process, he is not going to be in training tomorrow. But, of course, the first team will be back in there for their first full training session under Ronald Koeman as the hard work ahead of the season really does begin. That training session for Barcelona there will actually be coming at 5.30pm on Monday afternoon. And, of course, I'll have the latest here coming on the channel in what we can see from those early training sessions with a lot of futures in this squad right now still to be decided. The likes of Luis Suarez... Rakitic, Vidal, all of those players being very, very heavily linked away from the club. And in these coming days, big, big decisions do have to be made. But I also want to bring you here something with regard there to the conditioning of these players. Because interestingly, Ronald Koeman has decided and appointed his very own fitness coach. Because the arrival now of Albert Rocker is something I think that we should be very, very excited about. Because he's somebody who's actually worked at Barcelona in the past. He was here between 2003 to 2008. The entirety there of Frank Rijkaard's time at the club, which of course in turn was very, very successful for the most part. And he then also worked with Rijkaard in the clubs that followed his time for Barcelona. And here we are, 12 years down the line, Roca is back in Barcelona. He's back at the club after Ronald Koeman decided to bring him in. And I think that's a good thing because I think certainly along with the playing squad, along with the coach, along with all the rest of the stuff going on right now, one of the areas that we've all looked at and we said, you know what, that needs to be better. It all surrounds there, the fitness, the condition conditioning, how the players actually not only approach matches, but also training sessions, also there in their preparation. And I think Ronald Koeman there starting to put now his stamp on things, bringing in here the training coach, Albert Rocker. He's also brought in, of course, the assistant coach that he wants in Alfred Schroeder, and also Henrik Larsson too, being part of that team. And it just seems to me right now that even given everything going on, it is still kind of refreshing to see Koeman still going about his work, still trying to make some plans for the club. Because of course, like I say, that season, it is coming. It doesn't matter no matter what goes on, doesn't matter what's happening with the Messi situation, that season is still going to come. It's still going to arrive. And when it does, somehow, somehow right now, we need to be ready. So that there, guys, is the latest right now on Messi's situation and also there ahead of that first day of pre-season training tomorrow, which of course will be a very, very short pre-season with none of the usual stuff that we would see in this kind of period. It is a strange time, not just in football, but everything right now that is going on. I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope that your spirits somehow are being kept up. And I thank you here for continuing to tune in to the videos. I'll be back soon, guys, with more updates to come. Thanks for watching, but until next time, as always, Vizca, El Barca.